Look, this is, uh, this is one conversation I've been looking forward to having for a long time. We've been big fans of you and your music down here in New Zealand for a long time. And finally, you've made it to New Zealand. Jessie Weir, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Is it, is it just like a bit of a surreal start to the year for you? I'm so happy that I'm missing out all the rubbish weather in England. Have you been texting people going, ha ha? No, but I'm going to show them my strap lines on my horrible, my, my sandals <laughs> that are going to give the worst strap lines. So, um, yeah. Um, yes, no, I'm really happy to be here. As far away as you can possibly get from the south of London, where you're from? Yes. Yes. Is, is it look on a scale of one to ten, just how mad has the last year for you been? Because I'm going to hazard a guess, it's been crazy. You know what? It, it was mad, but then I went to America for my tour, and I don't think I've ever worked as hard in that one week that was so intense. So then I was like, you know what? Last year, yeah, well, it was crazy, but God, I don't know what's going to happen this year. Yeah, for sure. Look, I mean, obviously, on the, you know, in the last few months, especially, you've had so many kind of crazy, surreal moments. Mm. Jimmy Fallon, Roots as your band, yeah. you know, like it ain't no thing. How was that? <laughs> You know what, I, I was so excited. I'd had like no sleep because we've been doing the kind of drives from Philly to, you know, Washington to Philly to New York. And I was like, I, when I did this thing called Jules Holland in England. And I, I think I, I kind of messed up because I was just so nervous and I was like, this is such a big deal. And so when it was the Fal Fallon mm. and the Roots had said yes to doing my song, I was just like, I'm not going to mess this up. I can't. This is, I'm playing with Questlove. I'm playing with Frankie Knuckles. This is such a big deal. So they were so lovely to me. We did one rehearsal. Wow. I went into their studio, he went, right, okay, da da da, they did it, wildest moments. Cool, should we go to the floor and um, practice the camp? I was. <laughs> that, took, that took me a while to learn with my band, and I love my band. It was amazing, it was so good. I proper geeked out on it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and look for you, you know, since the release of the album, what have been, you know, what's been one of the most, uh, you know, incredible moments that you've had? Like, what moment where you're like, oh my God, like, once upon a time I was just a backup singer and, you know, helping my mate out. Now I'm writing my own songs, now I've released an album, and now I'm doing this? What? I think, um, I think it was probably like my first headline show in the UK, and I played at this place called Brixton Electric, um, which is like a stone's throw from my flat. and people were going mad and I was just like this is really bizarre and wonderful and amazing but I also think being up for the Mercury was quite a big deal for me and, and for everybody that was involved it was a really great way of everyone being like yeah well done that was that, well, good good job what's really I mean what's been really cool in the last couple of years and especially for for UK and, and obviously this whole they're calling it bass music or whatever tagline they want to call it but it's really cool that a lot of underground producers are really getting their dues at the moment. I mean, you work with some of the, the best subtract, yeah. people like Julio Bashmore, yeah. obviously David Kumu as well, and, and everyone's starting to just, you know, bubble away, yeah. man. Like, for, for your, and tell us a bit about your crew, like your extended family of people that you work with in London. So my, well, the person that really kind of helped me start was Subtract and then this amazing Glaswegian label called Numbers. Um, so they put out my first release, um, which was called Nervous, and then you know through Subtract I met Sampha, and I'm going to continue to work with Sampha. He's such a Amazing. brilliant artist, yeah. and um, and then. With the more of the dance stuff, you know, I've got uh, one man who's an amazing DJ was playing me on Rinse, and then I, um, I met Julia Bashmore, and we did some work on my album, which is not like Julia Bashmore's stuff, but it's really fun for us to do that, and I really want to work with him this year. Disclosure, I mean, they're going to have an amazing year. We just we just had them in New Zealand uh, oh, yeah, yeah, three yeah, weeks ago. All the pictures on Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. And, and for you, in terms of like, well, let's go back to the the, the states thing because that must have been pretty mad. I mean. Any artist from outside of the US, you know, it, it's the holy grail to, to one day maybe make it in America. And, and just, like you said, in, in a very short space of time, some really cool things are happening in that country. Yeah, I mean, it was my first tour and a lot of it was sold out. Not all of it, but the crowds were phenomenal. Very gay crowds that were kind of going, girl, sing it. And I was just like, this is amazing. I was getting flowers. I got three bunches of flowers one night. I felt like Pavarotti, it was amazing. And um, so that was really great. I got lots of lots of presents and just amazing, amazing crowds. And you know, yeah, the Jimmy Fallon thing happened too, which I'll never forget. And has it been crazy to, you know, obviously it's through social media and everything, getting messages from the craziest places all over the world where your music's traveled to now? Definitely, I mean, I've been getting from Thailand, from Singapore. It's a shame that I couldn't do the Laneway Festival in Singapore. It's been really, it's been really nice to finally come here as well. And you're on the, you're on the front page of the paper the other day. I know who managed that. I don't know, but thanks, press people. <laughs> what about? Oh look, what's next for you, Jesse? Um, next, I mean, doing Laneway Festival, and then we go back, and I've got the Brit Awards when I get back, um, which is a, a, an English. Um, oh right, okay. And um, so I'm up for two, but 
not going to win either. But yes, I'm you to are. Start. Yes, you are. No, you're going to say that's about flashes because we're both up for one. The no, same no, one. no, no, no. no. Um, and uh, no, we're going to. Um, I'm just going to have lots of fun in London and England, and then I go off and do my UK tour, European tour, and then I'm back in America. I'm doing Coachella. Work it. I know it's going to be fun. What's what's okay? If you can pick one one thing that's just making you smile the most at moment in life, uh, what is it? The sun. Nice. The fact that I'm in a festival in January. In New Zealand. In New Zealand. Yes. I've never been here. I, I went over in the plane and it was so lush and gorgeous. And I was just like, this is amazing. This doesn't feel like work. Yeah. Does it feel, okay. And, and look, one other thing I'd like to know is obviously, you know, when you before you, an album comes out, you know, the, the, the kind of goal, the dream is to one day release an album or to one day yeah. tour and everything. And you can't kind of sit, keep setting kind of new little dreams. What's your dream at the moment? To manage to write some more songs I don't know I, I don't know if I've got it in me I'm very scared about that prospect of actually going and writing again and be I think I'm I felt like I got away with it last time so I think yeah I think, I think I'm just gonna try and hope that the second album goes all right Jesse we're so good to have you in New Zealand thank you so much thank you so much awesome thanks